Hi, this is Jesse Barkasy, and um, I just want to show a recipe that helped me get rid of a very bad uh, flu-like cough. Um, it might have been even candida or whatever, but um, I wasn't feeling really good, and um, I feel like a million bucks now since I've been doing this recipe for a couple days. Uh, four or five carrots, a bunch of celeries, about three or four apples, one to three habanero peppers, um, a cucumber, uh, usually a half a lemon, you can put a hole if you want, and about, um, you know, one thumb size or finger size of ginger root. Now today I'm going to add some parsley, because I heard that has some uh, properties that can help as well. So I'm hearing about a lot of curative properties for ginger, I'm reading about it, and uh, boy oh boy, I, I did not feel good the other week and um, so I decided to get some ginger and habanero in me with uh, some of the juicing and uh, I cut it first I made a mistake I, I want to show you on the video so I took some of the fruits and vegetables I'm going to use tomorrow and I took them out so you can see them uncut and have it for your recipe so about four carrots a bunch of celery four apples some uh, habanero peppers do it to how much you can get used to um, last year about a year or two ago um, I could only take it just a little sliver of um, ginger root and maybe just a little piece of the habanero and I, I think my body might have gotten used to it because I, I like it more now I could eat two or three I could drink a juice with two or three habaneros in it um, it also might be my juicer getting older and um, maybe it's not squeezing as much out or it could be the where the habaneros come from or how they're grown or you know the various factors so anyway there's the recipe um, and you know you can just do lemon juice and parsley and uh, ginger um, you know you can mix and match this the, the way the way you want to start juicing um, like something just like apple juice and my juicer gets a lot of pulp so I uh, it leaves a lot of pulp in the juice so I go through it I put it through twice to get more pulp out and um, I've got the Omega um, juicer. I'll show you real quick what it looks like. That's this one here. Now it's kind of dark in the house here. But uh, it's the Omega juicer. If I can um, get another juicer, what I'm going to do is get the Breville stainless steel one because you could put the whole apples in without cutting it and you could put the whole bunch of celery in. So I want to try that, and it seems like that might have a little less um, pulp. So anyway, um, you know, not allowed to say anything can cure anything, but I got to tell you the truth. I really, the symptoms I had were of what they call candida overgrowth in your body. Um, I was taking some antacids because I was getting some heartburn for a few weeks, and I wasn't taking them every day, but I, I also found out that that could make your body too alkaline, uh, out of balance which will make yeast take over the probiotics in your body so you know look the things up yourself I'm not going to make any medical claims for anybody else <clears throat> but for me um, I didn't do the juice today and I'm starting to feel you know my lungs get a little mucus again um, and uh, but I did eat some junk food so I was trying to test you know if it was really the food doing it to me and I think it was I ate some sugary things um, I eat uh, an ice cream bar, so I'm not going to do that <laughs> anymore because um, the sugar is obviously affecting me for some reason right now, compromising my immune system or whatever. Um, but the nice thing about this recipe is not only did you know I feel really good, I read that it makes the soreness in your system in your uh, the, when you lift weights, the soreness go down. 25% uh, you could be less sore from working out so I went to the gym and I literally felt like when I was about 25 to 27 years old now I didn't do the workout that I would do when I was 25 or 27 years old because I'm 47 now because I don't want to hurt myself but what I did is um, you know just did the same workout and I felt terrific um, my lung function was really good I, I slept better um, and my lungs just feel re felt really clear. It felt like um, I was just getting more oxygen. Um, so, 
uh, and I had I had uh, some things with my ears too. My ears were hurting, uh, almost like allergic type uh, symptoms, allergy type symptoms. So anyway, um, and I made some for someone else, and I looked at their skin, and their skin tone looked nicer after they drank it. And I looked in the mirror, I was combing my hair, and my skin looked nicer right after I drank the juice, like maybe an hour after or half an hour after. So I think that's mostly attributable to the ginger, and I think the habanero helps as well. And um, I was just astounded. It was literally, I felt like a miracle, because I got some um, Zycam. What happened is I felt like I was getting a cold at first, and I got Zycam, and it didn't work. I returned it. I said, this is ineffective. It usually works if I get a cold. It just stops it dead, and I don't get colds that often, maybe once every two years. So I returned that and it just started getting worse. And then I, the second thing I thought, geez, I had the flu shot. Maybe I'm getting the, getting the flu, but it's not as strong. But it was pretty intense. I felt I, really bad. I was looking at my eyes were bloodshot and everything. And it just kept getting worse for about a week. And I was coughing, coughing. And um, finally I said, I got to take this into my own hands. And I went to the store. I was, I was like mad a little bit. And I, I got the ginger and habanero. And immediately, within like a half an hour to an hour, I started to feel better. So, um, I didn't do it today, so I'm going to make the juice now and have a cup and save the rest for tomorrow. And I just thought I'd share this video. You know, look up ginger root. Look it up. The properties are amazing. I think that's one of the big parts of it. I think the habanero peppers kills, you know, germs or parasites in your body too. And, you know, the cleansing properties of these other things here and the energy they give you are good. So look it up, um, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video, and it gives you a, you know, a sense of what I'm doing. There's cut up. I'm going to make it now, and maybe I'll do a quick video to show you what the juice looks like. I'm not sure if I will. If I don't, have a great day, and if I do, I'll see you in a one split second when this video turns over. I'm going to make the juice now and clean things up. Thank you very much. Bye. Uh, just want to show you the juice coming out. It's kind of a, basically a, almost like a dark grapefruit type color I'm putting it through twice to get the um, more pulp out there's this omega juicer I don't know if it's getting older or just I didn't remember you put it through twice the juice like you juice it once and you just put the juice through again it gets most of the pulp out so there's the uh, drink I'll taste it in a minute just want to show you how I'm making the juice and I'll cut out again until I'm finished. Okay, so um, pretty much I made the juice. Let's see here. So it looks like I'm just drinking a little bit at a time and I got the fire going. It's it's just, man, it's, it's March. It's March, uh, what's the date today? March 18th and it's like just freezing outside. So uh, <clears throat> that coldness a uh, little stress i'm having and uh, not eating right got me a little bit sick and starting to feel <clears throat> my lung function get go down again so hi there everybody i got uh it's got a kick to it nice kick to it Whew. but for some reason i can take it this year and uh there you go that's your juice recipe i hope you enjoy it and it makes you feel like you're right awake. You feel the blood rush into your skin. Um, the ginger root and the habanero um, are good. I can't even taste the um, parsley I put in it, so it didn't make any difference for taste. But hopefully that'll help with some uh, healing properties. So anyway, that's the juice. Uh, there it is. Doesn't look, you know, that appetizing from there, but it's it's actually really good. It's delicious. Um, so I'll end with the little. Uh, fire I got uh, not just got a quick fire going to uh, put some cardboard boxes in there it's the end of the year I really don't want the house to be too hot because it uh, it's not winter but it's still just freezing outside but um, the fireplace will actually make it too hot um, so anyway going getting off key there that's my juice and I um, hope you enjoy the recipe have a great uh, night and I if you have any lung problems or problems with uh, you know earaches or just not feeling right give a uh, you know talk to your doctor make see if you can give some ginger a try juice it somehow and you know mix it with your 
whatever, some apple juice or something and see what happens. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Great night. Thank you.